from YCS Dallas. Ruben here. What did you play this weekend, bro? Uh, I played Spiral. It was the best deck. Spiral's best deck? How was your tournament experience uh, overall? It was pretty good. I played eight mirror matches, one Draco, one ABC, and then one... I'll remember the other one. And then in top 32, I played against Chase Stars. I literally drew every guard together. Oh wow! So the, you were one of the Trickstar victims then. Yeah, I got. I was the Trickstar victim. You were the Trickstar. Yeah, the victim. only Trickstar that won in top uh, the first round, and then he got destroyed in the next round. He got two out in five minutes. I was told. Oh jeez. Yeah. All right. Well, even though Spiral dominated most of the top cut, let's go ahead and see that deck profile. Okay, so I played three Super Agent. A lot of people were starting to cut it for two. But I think it's a really good starter card. It helps you, like, if you don't have something to know what the top cards of your opponent's deck, you can, like, try to whip it, and then so you can see for double healers. Uh, three quick fix is the best card in the deck. It searches literally everything. Three drone, it lets you see the top card of your opponent's deck. Uh, one last resort, one mass plant, and one sleeper because they're all guardians. Three gofu, this is what we decided to play. It was better than the dragon card that makes ancient fairy it gives you coral dragon which gives you a little bit of an edge going second it's a one card out to sleeper uh my hand traps i played three ash three drill two over one max on the dd crow so it's searchable uh i played three resort three terraforming i didn't think i needed any other field spell uh i played three machine dupe it was really good uh i got asked maybe once or twice and the times it did get asked i had the second one to double summon just to continue my plays if that's if I only really have like a quick fix or something like that this gets me the second push one for one broken uh, the premature burial card it's really good a lot of people I hard drew it a lot of the times but it really helped the times I did hard draw it soul charge uh, I don't know how I liked it it only really came up once when I drew it I usually started out games two and three and the one time I did draw it I got double cherries that game for firewall and for double helix and I still got it and then I played one trap card uh, rescue which is the only one that was needed for your cards on the main deck all right the extra deck I've played uh, the one coral dragon one ancient fairy the one the loose card that can search uh, DD crow one seven sprout one lace fire one proxy dragon one ib two double helix uh, I didn't have room for the third one one deco talker one ingrisu one guy saber two firewall and one Borla Dragon. This card's amazing in the mirror match. There was times where I just didn't even summon double he helix. I just took my opponents or I took their sleeper and I had two sleepers and it's just another out to the card. Plus it can't be targeted by the sleeper. So it's really easy to make if you get cherries or something like that. So it helps you win going first or second. Uh, then for my side deck, three cherries. You have to side it for the mirror match. I sided the artifact engine. So one Lance, Lancia, one scythe. A lot of people were siding the artifact engine also, but they didn't side the Lancia just the side. Sided two kaijus. I was against it, but Kamala switched the board wipes in his side deck for kaiju, so I did the same thing. Two twin twisters for anything rogue. The three th sanctums for the artifacts, and then three evenly matched. This card really didn't do much this weekend. I got evenly matched once, and I still won the game. Alright, so... Any shoutouts for this weekend then? Yeah, uh, shoutouts to CGM, the people I test with back at home in Miami. Shoutout to Team PPG, best team in, in the world. Shoutout to everyone <coughs> from South Florida, everyone that lent me cards, you know, everyone I stayed with. Gio, Ferdella, TJ, Chris, Alex, Steiner, Andy, literally everyone, you know, everyone here at the house and everyone we tested with. Alright. Hey, did you just make top 16 with Paleo and ARG uh, once? That literally wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this he, kid, he's the future. He's pro. Uh, yeah. Yo, he lost his two favorite decks this weekend. Paleo and Uh, I'm gonna forget. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy him. This is his last video. He doesn't get to live. Uh, yeah. Let's say, say your prayers and your goodbyes. Alright. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Paleo. Okay. All right. That was advice from the great Paleo master himself. All right. This was your first YCS top as well, right? Yeah. First YCS okay. top. Hopefully next time I can break the barrier and get to top 16. Hopefully win one soon. Alright, we're looking forward for more in the uh, future then, man. Matt, you're pro. Hope, hope to see you at more events then.